Now, if you click on this video and you're trying to make a lot of money and you're trying to make some money fast, you are in the right place because in today's video, I will be teaching y'all how to trade these binary options. Yes, binary meaning two options, guys. You either got the put trade, which is the red going down, or we either got a call, which is the green going up, guys. I'm going to teach you how to read basic candlesticks, how to find momentum changes, guys. And I'm going to be teaching you two major strategies to get sniper entries while you're trading binary or either 4x trading. By the end of this video, you will learn how to make sniper entries. And if you are a beginner trader or even experienced trader, you will still learn something in this video. And if you do, just comment below. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this is Black Investors Group. You want to make sure you join the family. We do post daily over here and I do teach you how to make money the easiest way possible. Let's get right into this video and the first thing I want to go over with you guys is managing your emotions all right if you didn't hear me clearly because I know I just mumbled that <laughs> we're gonna manage our emotions when we're placing these trades guys you don't never want to trade off of your emotions what I mean by this is say you just won two trades now you're hyped up now you're trying to win two more trades or you're trying to win one more trade before you hop off the platform because you're up two hundred dollars in profit you're trying to get three hundred dollars in profit you're trading with 100 so you trade again and boom you lose now you're looking at $100 in profit but you're trying to get $300 in profit so you trade again and then you lose because you're trying to make your money fast and you're not making accurate decisions you're not making good choices you're not following your rules you're not following your strategies and more importantly you're probably not being patient and patience is a big key in this trading world as well so practice your patience practice your emotions and I guarantee you will see your trade numbers starting to go up you're gonna see more profit and you're gonna lose way less once you manage your head and once you be patient but right now I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on trading view that'll help you get sniper entries for longer term trades guys I'm gonna teach you how to chart in just two minutes so stay tuned for more and let's get right into it but guys before we start the video don't forget to hit the links in the description guys check out the patreon check out the youtube memberships over on those youtube memberships and patreon we do have how to make money the easy way how to make money in crypto how to boost your credit fast how to make money online guys how to start an online business and even how to start a six-figure trucking business because if you don't know my name is king lotta and i have started a trucking business at the age of 19 and has been financially free ever since so now i'm going to teach you guys how to trade this crypto how to trade these stocks and guys there's a bunch of links in the description you can get ebooks on step-by-step -step tutorials candlestick patterns trucking videos guys trucking ebooks all of that and the links in the description and furthermore if you do want to schedule a coaching call with me guys i do accept coaching calls for only ten dollars and the link in the description calendly backslash king lot of guys don't forget that backslash king lot of but you can schedule a coaching call with me from 10 to 30 minutes i, I even have a 45 minute course where i will give you a full tutorial a full class a full demonstration guides and all on whatever niche you need guys and the calendar link in the description and schedule a call today back to the video Woo! so the moment that you've all been waiting for let's get into how to make this money with crypto how to make this money in stocks guys and as you can see we have trading view pulled up and you can see a lot of funky stuff going on you might not know what's going on but i'm gonna break it down to you in just two minutes so just stay tuned guys be patient i'm gonna break this down to you in two minutes and then i'm gonna show you how to relay it live on a live trading platform so let's get to it trading view is pretty much a website where you can get you know full indicators full tools to scout out these charts as precise as possible guys okay so right now i only have two indicators going on i believe all i have right now is the keltner channel that's all i have right now going on not even two actually yes i have a keltner channel and i have a moving average guys so you can see no all right so it's just one we have a keltner channel but just because i'm not on pocket option is what i'm used to my keltner channel over here is all blue 
and over here the middle line is yellow so the yellow line is the average guys and once you see this Keltner channel these candles are gonna want to oh snap we just moved the line but these candles you see that when i say candles of course i mean the red and the green guys christmas colors but these candles are gonna want to stay inside this keltner channel okay so as you can see they want it to break out you see the wicks popping out right here barely right here a wick right there and it's gonna want to stay inside that keltner channel and when it's outside of the keltner channel guys so let's see if we can find an example of when it did pop way outside of that keltner when it is way outside, kind of like as you can see right here, that means the market is oversold, guys. That means the market is overbought, vice versa, if it's going up or going down. So in this case, we're going up. So the market is overbought. So we got to bring it back down and it's going to stay inside this Keltner channel. Now, when the candles try to hit this yellow line right here, when the candles try to hit this yellow line, that means that the market is gonna probably want to bounce off that yellow line i like to think of it as hot lava you know what i'm saying that yellow line just may be hot lava so whichever way the market is going so if we're going down like you see right here boom it hits that yellow line it dipped a little bit under it, as you can see that small green candle and then boom we came back up you know what i mean so again right here we hit that yellow line we dipped under and we dipped under okay so it's just another small momentum change but you don't always want to go on that note of a momentum change now another big thing i want to go over with you guys is this m that you see right here on these arrows guys this m formation and if you can't see it clearly guys my fault because it's blue you know what i mean but anyways it's right here guys this m formation and this m indicator or if you see a W, so if it's upside down on a W, guys, it means that the market is either going to shoot down or shoot in the opposite direction very, very hard. So a M is most likely going to shoot down. So it's going to come down here and it's just going to keep carrying down. And as you can see, guys, on the current market, uh, we are on a downtrend. So this could keep going down. So if you want to place longer term trades, you want to look for these M's and these W's, guys. So on a w it's gonna more likely shoot up but if you do see a couple of candles going the opposite way it just might shift the opposite way so always guys don't go off of one indicator go off of two or three indicators and so now i'm going to take you to pocket options so i can give you some more indicators that you can rely on and down here guys we have the osma and over here on the osma this is the basic settings guys if you want to copy that down or whatnot and then we have the stochastic oscillator and these are the basic settings on the stochastic as well so once you put those down guys you can identify the trend way easier as you can see we got lines going down and as you can see right here we got graph bars going down so we are obviously on a downtrend and we're going to keep going down depending on what time frames you want to trade on and make sure guys if you're trading on a five second you want to make sure it's five seconds make sure if you're trading on you know three minutes it's on three minutes and not on this specific time right here and then make sure guys another good tip when you're trading is you know risk management so say you are just you know we are in a demo account right now so let's just just for practice purposes we're gonna go to the five seconds and we're going down so we have to obviously before I get into this tip I gotta go into this another tip right here you want to make sure you're trading on the right time frames guys we are on the five minute so for this five second strategy we want to be looking at the 30 second time frame and as you can see we have green candles coming up so you want to make sure you're on the right time frame so you can get the most accurate you know entries so guys as you can see we have stochastic going up and these bars are trying to you know stay steady but for this risk management rule guys let's just say we place a trade to go down right and then say we win this trade which likely we are okay so we draw so let's just say let's just place another trade all right let's place a trade to go up because more likely it's going to bounce back up as you can see and boom uh trade closed all right so we just lost 15 dollars so for this next trade guys we want to trade you know five dollars or ten or six dollars you know what i mean but let's just say we won we trade six dollars right to go up let's just put a simple up motion and boom dang well we lost again but you get the gist guys i'm not trying to show you the strategy just yet but 
when you are winning your trades guys let's say you profit a hundred dollars you don't want to go on your next trade and profit another hundred dollars you don't want to trade with a hundred dollars guys you want to risk management trade with 50 because if you lose that 50 dollars you are still up 50 dollars from your previous trade guys so that's a quick risk that is a quick risk management tool and i hope you guys use that so another way to get this money guys is you just want to find you know a zigzag pattern all right so as you can see we're on amazon it's not really zigzagging like that but let's go back to this five minute chart and as you can see right here we zoom out and we zoom out and we're zigzagging okay guys so these are good times to get in these trades good charts to find when you're zigzagging not so much let me go ahead and favorite this so we could come back to it but not so much like a chart like right now intel we are on a big uptrend then we have a higher low and then you have you know we don't know what's going to happen right here if we're going to shoot back down or if we're going to you know just support and resist for a long time because look at how funky this graph is guys but if we do our history guys and we had a big uptrend right here so when was the last time we seen that when was the last time we seen a big uptrend the last time we seen a big uptrend you know is a while back so we're we, we're on a constant downtrend right here and so we have a uptrend and so now now we just might come down again because we're on a downtrend you know what i mean so you want to look at your history when you are trading as well before you place your entries guys and also another thing to take note of is like i said your indicators you know what i mean once you see this keltner channel right here the candle is going below this keltner channel but more likely it's hot lava and it wants to go back up okay it wants to go back up so just depending on what you're comfortable with i do advise trading on the one minute to three minute time frame because once you have you know you found your zigzag pattern and like i said you want to find these m's and right here another indicator for this on pocket option is the zigzag guys you want to see this yellow line and boom we have a clear m right here and we just might go down again so let's just let's just take a risk and let's just go down you know with the trend on a one minute time frame and you could play with the pocket option website i do suggest playing with it on the demo of course so you don't lose any real money and guys you can easily win you know money 90 percent guys up to 92 percent on pocket option and they do have more options over here you, as you can see 53 percent at the lowest and then some stocks aren't available right now to trade on but you know 92 percent and they also have currencies as well and they also have cryptocurrencies but only bitcoin is normally open and i don't think it's ever past 15 percent and also they have commodities brent oil and really the easiest ones you know to win is these stocks um but these right here guys these bounce a lot on a lower time frame as you can see we're winning our trade we're closing our trade up here and we're winning it and we have a couple seconds left and boom we just won that trade so the first trade i took serious guys we took it for a w on this m formation if only it was a w formation we could have had w's but that is the gist of you know finding this perfect charting entry guys you just want to make sure you're on the right time frames always when you're scouting when you're scalping these charts start from the higher time frame so we're on a 10 minute i see on the 10 minute on amazon stock that we are zigzagging we just was on a five minute so i go to the three minute and boom another you know i can see this m more clearer and i can see that it's still going down and as you can let's just go to another um stock commodity so i can show you guys what it's looking like on a bad one that you don't want to trade on something that's too risky like mcdonald's right here guys we're on a downtrend so you could probably you know place a couple good trades for the down direction on mcdonald's right here but let's go to visa and i'm just gonna right here you know this is not a good area to trade because we don't have a clear sense of what's happening to this graph okay it's going up we are on an uptrend we are seeing higher lows higher lows and right now we are at a sort of a you know a lower high but we're supporting and we're resisting a lot right here this 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 zigzag wants to go up here so it'll have to shoot up for that zigzag to go or either the zigzag can break back down which is more likely what it's going to do it's going to continue to come down because i don't see it having all that support and resistance 
just to try to shoot back up again more likely it's going to go down because it already had its fun on this uptrend right here it already had its fun now we're supporting and resisting and more likely we're going to go back down and as you can see on a stochastic oscillator we are starting to head down you had its fun the momentum is starting to dial down and maybe we just might dip down here but that's pretty much what you're looking at guys when you're trading these binary options also another thing i want to go over with you guys is you can kind of trade this you can put in uh asset price you can put buy by the asset price just check this hourglass down here and put buy by the asset price once it gets to that price guys set the time frame you want to trade on of course and set the amount you want to trade with put your trade in higher or lower and boom guys you can do this you know because a lot of times the chart goes up a lot before you know it but you still know it's gonna come back down or you still know it's gonna go back up but you just want to get it on the down before it goes back up so you know you might want to place a buy for right here at you know 274 at 274 guys you might want to place a buy because you know it's gonna come up here but you know maybe you missed it it's up here you want it to get down here and then boom you're gonna shoot back up so that's when you can open your price buy by the asset price guys over there on the um hourglass and then this is where you can see your open trades so say i open a trade it'll pop up here and then you'll see your closed trades right there and that's just pretty much you get favorite these are your favorites right here on the top and to favorite all you got to do is press the star and then you have indicators you have things that you can you know help out with your decisions but this is way better over here on trading view but anyways um also to get the indicators you would go right here bollinger bands rsi are good ones guys and my favorites is um as i use right here guys actually let me take this back right here boom parabolic sar what you might see is these purple dots right here and that is just a substitute teachers to this fractal you know what i mean that is just a helper out for this fractal um and the fractal of these arrows predicting what the momentum of this chart is going to be so as you can see the fractal opened up right here and then boom we're going down four red candles or three red candles now and you can it's backed up by these dots and on the three minute strategy guys you want to see these you know three dots you want to see three candles supporting whatever the momentum change is going to be and then you can place a trade for three more minutes going in a down direction so right here i would place a three minute trade going down and then the keltner channel is on default and it's all blue lines as you can see right here we're below this middle line so we just may keep dropping and then we have a moving average of nine ema and then we have a moving average of four sma and the four sma is the red line the nine ema is the green line and pretty much when these lines cross that means this chart is going to either go down or up so we crossed right here and we going down a little bit we crossed right here recently and we're going to go down a little bit you know what i mean we crossed up right here and now we went up so that is the gist of how to chart using pocket option using trading view how to get sniper entries guys and you know you just want to read these candlesticks once you see these two big bearish and bullish candles you know something is going to momentum change in the opposite way big bearish big bullish something's going to momentum change guys and if you you know what i mean you always want before you go against the trend before you go against the trend you always want to have three indicators telling you that it's going to do it so you want to see it on a stochastic you want to see a fractal open you want to see three parabolic saw dots before you go against this trend and trade for a down trend because we're on a overall uptrend but before you want to place that down trade you want to see those three indicators parabolic saw you know under the um moving averages and a stochastic guys because even though we're on an uptrend we could this could go back up but you know what i'm saying we want to go down and if you would have traded right here guys as soon as you opened up on this red candle you probably would have won of course but not always now that's not always the case but that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it on how to chart how to trade how to get the most accurate entries to get this money fast i hope i was able to help you make some money i hope i was able to help you learn something new today if i was please leave this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
Don't forget to check out all the links in the description to help you make this money the most easiest way possible. And subscribe to the channel because this is Black Investors Group. We post daily. I'll see you tomorrow. My name is King Lotto.